This is Johnny Detroit today at pregame for Thursday. First thing I want to do is do a little rant. Um, I just do not understand why grown men who have 24 hours in a day times how many days until you die to experience things, do things, whatever, find it necessary to be in a great community like pregame forums and just talk smack, bash people, and just waste their time. So late last night, I'm up late, I'm watching my... Char uh, college of Charlestown game. That was my big play over Tennessee, sweating that out. Then I hammered Mike Hook, who we'll get to a little bit later. So that game went late. And this morning, waking up by Brandon Watson, who I'm just visualizing sitting in his Michigan underoos, flipping out because there's some dude just trying to spam the board, but is not smart enough to understand that he's on moderation and nobody sees it and we're just going to keep deleting it. But it was like 100 post. So it's like, I... I don't understand why I'm up all night work, you know, watching games. I should be working, you know, spending time with my kids before they're off to school. And instead, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, to B. Watt and his Michigan underoos because some guy sitting in his mom's kitchen on her computer with random boyfriends all over the house wearing a hat that's for a sports team that looks like it was bought from Foot Locker, but he got it from a gas station and the authenticity seal, you know, starts to fall off. And he's sitting there drinking a big, tall, cooling glass of Haterade with, you know, pictures of VR with, a, with an X through it and, and just spending his time bashing pregame. I just do not understand it. So I know this is supposed to be about picks and what's going on in pregame, but I mean, it just really frustrates me that, you know, the people who enjoy the community, the time and the hard work that we put into it to give everyone a place to hang out and talk sports, <clears throat> that some people just just want to spend their free time, you know, you know, campaign for the guy you want to have president, you know, be pro or against abortion, you know, save the environment. I don't know, do something productive, but like this campaign of like hating on us just baffles me. So I guess get a job. I don't know. So that being said, that was my little rant for the day. And I'm sorry I put the uh, visual of Brandon Watson and uh, Michigan Andrews in your head. So I do apologize for that. So the first thing we want to do is let's go through Johnny Detroit's list of the today and the first round of the videos are up right now there's two great videos uh, I watched them both already really good stuff in there with uh, RJ and Marco breaking down both the game tonight the Atlanta Jaguars game and they're also breaking down the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers San Francisco 49ers game and with RJ and Marco both being Pittsburgh homers RJ trying to be a bigger homer than Marco, but technically Marco is the real Pittsburgh expert. Um, so there's really good information on that, and they go into overtime, and it, it's worth a watch. So pregame.tv, you want to check that out. So let's recap yesterday where Marco, I uh, backed him yesterday, dropped his big game. Um, South Florida ended up getting rolled. Mr. Dave Essler went over. He had a really bad day, but on the flip side, Mr. Shake and Bake, the 10-gallon hat man with the 20-gallon head, Shake and Baker. He uh, he swept the board. J.R. O'Donnell had been pushing him hard. He swept. Um, I went 2-0. Props to yours truly. My big game on Carl's Charles. Dude, have an easier sounding school name. College of Charlestown. Charleston beats Tennessee. And I also had over in the right state game. That game was almost over by the half. And my man, Vegas Runner, hit his three-star big play on Louisiana. Lafayette. So once again, you're probably thinking, what about Mr. Hook? He had a big day. And once again, I pushed Hook yesterday. And people need to listen to the people's champ. I said, check out Mike Hook. RJ, I know you're going to yell at me that I'm looking down on this video, but I, this is where I'm set up right now, and I don't really have a choice, so I'm just going to deal with it. Um, Mike Hook, 9-0 and now. Sick. Plus 25.50 units in the last five days of betting. UTEP last night, the final score looks like maybe it wasn't as close as it really was, that they could have gotten blown out, but actually they had the game either tied or a small lead um, going into the late middle of that second half. So that score really doesn't even show how great of a call this was. So the Hookster, 9-0. and And just like I did last week, where I took the guy that probably would be making pregame in the handicap for the most money, Marco, on a Thursday Pittsburgh-based game. Mike Hook's 9-0. and He's won enough units to fill Marco's fridge with the winnings. Mike Hook's my dollar guy today. Check out pregamepros.com homepage. Mike, top left, featured 
guy in the discount section. A dollar for his pick today. And a little secret, when that pick goes up today, I'm going to be putting in a coupon for you to get 60% off of his Thursday night NFL. Guys, 9-0, just killing it right now. So he's my feature guy. He gets talked all by himself. The other guys today that I'm looking at, there's two guys specifically that I'm going to be playing. First, I'm going to be playing Paul Ellering, the manager from the Road Warriors. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, King Creo. King Creo. Um, sorry, you look just like Paul Ellering. He has a huge play tonight. Um, he doesn't really have many huge plays. He's an old school guy, very solid. So I'm following Mr. Uh, King slash Paul Ellering Creo tonight. And also Steven Nover, Mr. Personality, Mr. Chuckles, Mr. Smiley, 29 and 10 run. He has a big play tonight. So Mike Hook, dollar dude, coupled with the crossover play in the NFL. Tossed in with King Creo. It's big play tonight. And Mr. Nover is who I'm backing. So that's going to do it for today. We'll be back tomorrow to recap the action on Thursday, whether good, bad, or ugly, as always. You can always email me at johnny at pregame.com if you need anything. Um, bowl packages are up. If you're looking to combine any of those and you want to deal, email me. NBA packages will be up shortly. Um, all you college basketball guys that were looking for the deal, don't forget, once that's up, just send me your username. Once we verify you are a college basketball guy, you'll get a little special discount on top of what those early bird NBA prices are going to be. So thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow, Friday. Best of luck.